let me show you how we can go through the initial configuration on the Xiaomi 15 Ultra. So once you turn it on, you will see the Xiaomi Hyper OS text with the arrow. So let's just press the arrow. Now we need to select the language that we want to use. So in my case, I'm going to choose English United States and then let's proceed. Now we need to choose our region. So if needed, you can tap on the search field here and then you can type the country name. So let's choose United States and let's proceed. There we go. We are not connected to Wi-Fi now, so we will use mobile data. So let's press next. Over here we have user agreement and privacy policy. So we need to select that we have read and agreed to both of them. And let's press next. Now we can quickly set up our Xiaomi 15 Ultra with another device. So if you had an Android device, then you can select Android device. Or if you had an Apple device, then you can choose iPhone or iPad. But if you want to perform the clean setup, then of course we can press skip over here on the left side. Now we will see how many SIM cards we have detected. So if you didn't insert your SIM cards, it is worth inserting them. Um, so if everything is correct, uh, we can also choose the default SIM for calls and which SIM card should we use for the mobile data over here. I'm just going to press next because everything is fine. And then we can choose to connect to Wi-Fi. So now we can search for our Wi-Fi network. And then once you tap on it, you need to enter the password. And then once you are connected, we, we can proceed and press next. Of course, you can choose not to connect to Wi-Fi and just simply press skip. So I'm going to press next. Now we need to wait a couple of seconds until the phone is set up with another screen. There we go. So now we can sign into our Google account. You can just skip this process completely by pressing skip here in the bottom left corner. Otherwise, of course, we can just enter our email or phone number. We can also choose forgot email in case we forgot it, or we can create our new account here if you don't have a Google account yet. And in case you want to sign in, then of course you need to provide the password and then press next. Or if you forgot the password, you can still try to recover it. In case you sign in, then you need to agree to Google Terms of Service. So press agree. And once again, let's wait for the next screen to pop up. There we go. We have mobile data preference. So we need to choose which mobile data we want to choose. In my case, I'm going to choose this one. Then we have call preference. This probably appears if you have more than one SIM card. So if you inserted two SIM cards, then you need to choose. So I'm just going to keep selecting my first SIM card. And then we can copy apps and data from our previous phone. We can press next in order to follow the instructions and copy everything. Or once again, if you want to perform a clean setup, then press don't copy. Then we can choose to set up the screen lock with the biometrics as well. I'm going to skip this process now because, well, later on uh, we can uh, simply go to the settings and set up everything again. There we go. Here we need to press got it. Now we have Google services, so we can use location. We can allow scanning if location is used, diagnostic usage and diagnostic data. We can tap on these switches in order to turn it off. And then let's press accept. Now we can choose to back up data on this device into our Google account. And we have the selection of photos and videos and other device data, which is sum up here. So if you want to immediately create backups, then press turn on backup with everything that is selected here. Or you can choose to not use backups. Later on, you can also set it up um, too. Then we have browser and search engine. So let's press next. Now we need to choose the browser that we want to use by default. And if you don't know which one to choose, most likely your uh, option is to select Google Chrome. This is the most popular choice. And of course, you can feel free to try anything else. But if you don't know which one you want to get, if you have no idea what's the difference between all of them, then just you can simply choose Google Chrome, maybe Opera browser. And that's it. Then we can press set as default. And then for a search engine, you most likely want to select Google. And let's press set as default. Now we can continue setting up in order to uh, to get our child's device fully set up um, or we can finish this later. So this is for in case you want to set up this device for children. So if you press continue, then we can let contacts nearby find and share with you. 
So we can agree or just select no thanks. I'm gonna actually agree here. Then we have Gemini. So if you press continue, then we can turn also turn on Hey Google. I'm gonna choose no thanks in this case. Then we can immediately set up, set up Google Pay. So if you want to use your credit or debit card on your phone in order to pay with your phone, then of course you can press add a card and follow the instructions. If not, then you can still do this later. So I'm gonna skip this for now. And then we have anything else, so we can still add another email account, we can change how text displays, change wallpaper, and reveal additional apps. And I'm gonna actually skip this and press no thanks because I don't need any of these. Then we have basic settings with location, I'm gonna turn off location for now. Uh, we have automatic system updates, I'm not gonna select this now, but of course most likely you want to have automatic system updates, it's really up to you, so keep that in mind. And I'm gonna turn off pretty much everything because we don't, we don't really need this. Maybe I'm gonna keep system daemon uh, permissions and show me inter uh, connectivity. Let's actually also use user experience program. So go through these options one by one, read what they do and decide if you want to, to use them or not. And then let's go next. Then we have parental controls. I don't really want to turn them on, but if in case you do, then of course you can uh, turn it on over here and then proceed. I'm just gonna press next. Then we have font settings where we can choose the default font or um, MI Sans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with default and let's press next. Then we can choose the launcher, so whether you want to have the home screen only or home screen and app drawer. I much prefer the app drawer option, uh, so I'm gonna stick with this one and let's press next. Then we have the system navigation mode. You can use gestures in order to navigate on your phone or you can have a buttons at the bottom of the screen. And I'm gonna stick with buttons later on. Once again, you can change that in the settings. And once you press next, we will see this screen where our phone is preparing the system and, and soon you should be able to see the home screen. There we go, setup complete. Let's press continue. We have a system update, of course. I'm not gonna update it now, not yet. But of course, if you see it, then most likely you want to update it. You always want to have um, up to date uh, your phone. And that is essentially it. Now you can start using your phone. You can uh, try to install anything that you wish to use. You can go to settings in order to make some adjustments and so on and so forth. And that is about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.